Almost every day, I see students on Reddit asking about architecture school and what to expect. I personally was privileged enough to attend one of the best schools in architecture in the US for a little bit. So I thought I'd make a video about my educational experiences and things I wish I knew beforehand. For those of you that don't know, I attended Cornell University's architecture program for a year. For my European viewers that don't know what Cornell is, it's basically like Harvard or Yale. The Architecture, Art, and Planning School has a 10% acceptance rate, and it's crazy competitive to get into. Honestly, I absolutely threw away my high school years working towards getting accepted into this school. That's because I thought the only way that I would be able to succeed in the industry and get a job was if I had the right degree. The big irony of this is that after getting in, I ultimately could only afford to study at Cornell for a year. Tuition, room, and boarding was about $68,000 a year in 2013, and with this being a five-year program, it would have cost me over $340,000 to complete my degree at Cornell. This doesn't even begin to cover the costs of books or material costs for building models or drawings. So the number one thing I wish I knew beforehand is that you don't need to go to a big name school to be successful. My tiny no-name school that I ended up in in Denmark that cost around 7,000 euros a semester had actually a pipeline to Björk Ingels group where students could intern and even end up hired. That being said, my education at Cornell was amazing. The quality of lectures and constant feedback from professors and teaching assistants was extremely valuable in the long run. I learned how to design from Cornell. Studying there taught me to look at the world in a different way. Anything could become design, and anything could become architecture. That being said, there was some big downsides of my experience at Cornell. The biggest one was that the studio could be an incredibly toxic place to be. Staying overnight was never encouraged officially, but teaching assistants would drop by late at night and check on the students in the studio. Also, the sheer workload meant that sometimes I was literally chained to my drawing table in my first two semesters until 4 a.m. because I had to produce sketch models or drawings for the next day. I personally need my sleep and still have never pulled an all-nighter for school. And the key to that, I believe, is time management. So my big, big advice to students in the U.S. attending these highly ranked universities is to prioritize yourself and your health, especially your mental health. Okay, listen, if you're scared you will fail class, it is not the end of the world. I personally dropped my structures class in my second semester, even though it was a mandatory uh, class because I could not handle the workload. It was too much for me and I wasn't able to keep up with the course load. I don't think there's any shame in dropping a class that you find challenging and trying it later. Do you have any specific questions about school or advice for school? Leave a comment below and I'll be happy to address it in a follow-up video.